Hi everyone, and welcome to this session. Today, we will learn the story of Anima Educação and how they are changing the distance learning in Brazil. I am Wesley, a solutions architect based in Brazil, and I work with education customers. And to tell us this amazing story, we have today with us João Tales. João is an IT director at Anima Educação. You can expect to see how Anima is using AWS in order to scale and to innovate, and supporting the learning management systems and adding new features to those systems using our AI ML services. But first, I need to give you some context about the scenario where Anima is working. So let's talk a little bit about Brazil. Brazil is a huge country one of the largest countries in the world, and is also one of the most populous countries. But from its 211 million inhabitants, 16 million are illiterate. They cannot read or write. And 33 million did not finish the primary school. Most schools and universities are placed on large cities like Sao Paulo or Rio. This means that if you don't live in a capital or a big city, your options for studying are very limited. And talking about cities, there is where we can see a lot of contrast. Some cities have, this, have deficient transportation uh, infrastructure, and students are abandoning the school. The Human Development Index, the HDI, in some metropolises like Sao Paulo, is very high, is about 0.8, which is considered a very good number. But we have cities in Brazil with the HDI uh, about 0.4, which is considered very low. While some cities like Sao Paulo has uh, 5G and high-speed connections, uh, we have 40% of Brazilian cities without basic sanitation or a proper water and waste treatment. Digital learning in Brazil is also a challenge. Some equipment, like smartphones and notebooks, can be very expensive. For example, an iPhone 12 can cost almost one year of minimum wage. Now that you know how challenging can be practicing education in Brazil, it's important to know that there are institutions trying to improve this reality. João, please let us know more about Anima Educação. Sure, Wesley. Uh, thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, it's a great honor to be here and share some of our experiences on, on using AWS. Um, Anima Educação, it's an organization institution in Brazil. We are one of the largest organization groups in Brazil. And our mission is to transform the country through education. We truly believe that nothing can change the life of people like education. Uh, Every person at Anima Educação, it's, it's an educator. From the trainee to the president, we call ourselves educator. And we, we, every action is made, made in order to improve the quality of education. We have 17 years of existence. We are present right now in seven states with 140,000 students and we're growing very fast. We have 8,000 educators and we are proud to say that we could keep all of them during the pandemic, you know? And we also are known our brands, we are gonna talk a, a little more about our brands in the next slide. Our brands, they are recognized as institutions of excellence in terms of education. Here are our brands, uh, all of them, they, we are evolving and expanding our ecosystem, but right now we have one of the largest educational ecosystems in Brazil. They are based uh, on lifelong learning. So once a student, you can keep studying throughout your life and keep evolving and learning and reinventing yourself. Um, our uh, partnership with AWS started back in 2018. Um, we started our cloud journey uh, based and, and the cloud journey was one of the pillars of our digital transformation. And initially, we were uplifting out some of our applications, uh, looking for scalability, elasticity, and deal with seasonality. 
you know. Um, right after that, we started to move and rewrite some applications aiming to modernize our applications to take advantage on the cloud. One of the goals was to go move faster, create better experiences and, you know, test and learn very rapidly. Um, and then the pandemic. Everything was running perfectly. We were going very fast, evolving our applications. The experience we were, we were providing to our students and teachers, they were great. But then the pandemic. Um, COVID-19 is the worst pandemic of the last century. Um, and we are talking about 1.5 billion students uh, affected by the pandemic. They, they couldn't go to the schools. Uh, we're talking about a lot of people losing their jobs and uh, and classrooms. So one of our challenges was how can we uh, keep offering classes? How can we uh, make our students not to lose one year of study? Um, our first session was a scale. We were running some of the applications in the last, so we, we had to very quickly move applications to the cloud and scale was an issue. And using AWS services, we could deal with this scale. We had, last year, uh, 47 times more uh, access usage of our applications. You know, We didn't have the impact on costs. We, we barely doubled our costs in AWS. And more importantly, we did, did not have a single scalability and downtime. And most importantly, our students, they, they, we could keep our classes. Our students and teachers, they didn't lose a single day of class. Um, our second challenge was the digital classes by itself. We needed to create very rapidly lots of you know, online classes in order to, to allow the classes to go on. Uh, AWS services were like essential. They, we could like just scale very quickly based on AWS services. Uh, here is some a screenshot of our applications. Uh, we had two premises. First one, our students and teachers, they can study wherever they are, no matter the device, like desktop, a phone, a tablet, whatever. They could use our applications in any device. They were able to watch the classes online or watch or rewatch the class Whenever, whenever they wanted, because we registered the class, recorded the class, and stored the classes on, on S3, and this way we could watch and rewatch the classes any uh, uh, time, anytime, and how many times they wanted. The third challenge was the exams. Uh, we moved the online tests in an admission test to the online mode. Um, one of the key factors we're going to talk about this right after is the, recogni the the make sure the person who is doing the test is the person who registered for the test. Using AWS services, we could very quickly do this proctoring uh, process. And Anima Educação was the first educational organization in Brazil who applied an online exam for the, the medical school. Uh, here the screenshot, we can see here the facial recognition in action and the second image is related to the results. So the person, they could like do the test and again in a desktop, in a tablet, in a cell phone and get the results almost in real time. Uh, Wesley, I'm gonna, Wesley is going to share some of the technical highlights of, of our solution. Wesley? Thanks, John. Anima's infrastructure used to rely on physical servers. They had to manage data centers with computers, storage, and networking devices. This required a lot of effort to keep everything running and updated, and was very hard to scale. Then, Anima started migrating many of the core services to AWS. During this migration, they decided to change the way the applications were deployed. Instead of using virtual machines and installing uh, those services to those virtual machines, they decided to leverage AWS managed service and serverless services also. 
Managed services are like Amazon RDS. Uh, when you use this service, you don't need to care about the complexities of installing the database software and maintaining this software. You just use, and AWS is going to uh, take care about the details of installing and maintaining this service. Uh, with serverless computing, uh, is a similar idea. You just need to take care about the code and AWS is going to take care about the compute necessary to run this code. Uh, and that change allowed Anima to scale up and to stand up during the peaks. And then came the challenge of applying tests for admission exams, ensuring the identity of the candidates. This was the perfect opportunity for testing Amazon recognition. Anima developed an application able to manage the online exam, monitoring the candidate through webcam and comparing with his previously obtained image. Amazon recognition can compare both images, the one from webcam and the one from the document from the registry, and then say if it's the same person by using AIML. To implement this feature, developing the own AIML model Anima's education would take a lot of time and a lot of effort. Amazon recognition saved a lot of time for them, and it's very simple to use. We'll leave a link for our GitHub repository where you can find a similar solution and you can download the solution and use in your AWS account. Now, João, can you show us the impact caused by all those changes? Sure, Wesley. Uh, I'm going to share some of the impact and results with you. And I'm going to split these in two different parts. The first one is how we could keep educating our students during the pandemic. The second one is the fact that we learned a lot during the pandemic. You know, we've have, we have, uh, we, uh, I usually say that we did it in a year which something which would take like 10 years to happen uh, in education. Uh, one, of, one of the examples is we have always known that one day tests, they would be online, you know, but everybody thought that it would like take like 10, 20, 30 years for this to happen, you know, and during the pandemic, we, we, we had to do this. So, and we learned a lot about doing this process. For example, uh, we are changing the way we prepare and we create questions. Instead of using just, you know, text for the question statement, we are now using images, we are using videos, podcasts, and so on. So we are not going back to the offline mode in terms of tests. We are not going back, you know, exactly to the way we, we were educated. We are going to expand the usage of, of technology in order to improve our education. But some of the direct results talking about the pandemic was the fact that we could keep educating our students. Let's always remember, remember what Wesley mentioned initially, Brazil, it's a continental country. Lots of students during the pandemic, they couldn't go to school. They couldn't keep studying because we do not have a good internet, internet connections. But at Anima, we were, were, were able to keep educating our students. You know, we could keep all of our educators. We not only keep the jobs, but we also hired some people during the pandemic, you know, and lots of, you know, additional projects that we move, moved to the online mode, you know, um, extension courses, graduation parties, which we are using usually, you know, parties, you know, uh, 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 in the offline mode. We moved these events to the online mode. We created forums for the students to interact and exchange ideas, documents, videos, all of them based on the cloud services offered by AWS. Uh, there is something which is incredible, you know, let's go back in time previously, the, the, uh, before the pandemic, and we were printing a lot of paper for the tests and the admissions tests. I mean, millions of, you know, sheets of paper during the year. We did a simple math and we saved at least 5,000 trees, which is something around five soccer fields 
when comp uh, 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 in terms of you know paper, um, we are not considering. We're not not even considering the fuel used to transport the paper. Again, Brazil is a large country. We were printing this amount of paper in a single place and moving this 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 amount of paper across the country. And right after the test, the initial test, we are like digital digitizing the paper, moving so a huge effort which is we uh, we this is not going to happen again we are not going back we are not going to uh, print tests again in terms of next steps uh, I like to say we are we are you know keep moving to the cloud we are going to expand the uses of AWS services in order to provide better educations for our students so one of the projects we have is to improve the security of our applications using AWS services like Shield, uh, um, GuardDuty, WAF, and so on. There's another uh, area which we are going to expand a lot, which is the use of AI and machine learning services in order to provide a more personalized, you know, tests in education, something like adaptive learning. And this, the, 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 the another project we, which we, we are aiming is to expand the uses of AWS services. Like you use RDS, we use Elastic Cache, we use Lambda, we use uh, Elastic Service a lot in order to keep our focus on education. You know, but we are going to expand the uses of serverless and managed services in order to you know keep moving faster. And and now I'm gonna I'm gonna you know switch back to Wesley. He's going to share some of more details about uh, over our next steps. Well, João, this environmental impact is amazing, and this year we have a lot more to accomplish using AWS. The first the first thing we are planning is to improve the security using Amazon GuardDuty. With Amazon GuardDuty, we can detect strange behaviors and strange things happening inside our AWS account. We also plan to protect the applications using web services and the APIs and web applications using Amazon, using AWS Web Application Firewall. We also are planning to improve this, the student experience uh, using uh, Animas portals. And to do that, we are going to use Amazon Personalize to create a customized experience for those users. And finally, we still have some applications running on those legacy uh, data centers. And we are planning to migrate those applications and start uh, leveraging the benefits of the cloud, uh, like uh, easy operation and backups and scalability. And as at AWS, we pay only for the resources we actually use we are going to uh, uh, save a lot of money uh, migrating those applications to AWS. And these costs can be reverted to the customers, to the students. If you want to learn more about uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence, you can check out our certification and our courses. So please visit this page to learn more. We would like to thank you. Uh, we hope you have learned something interesting today. So thanks for watching this session. And please help us creating interesting content for you by completing this survey. Thank you and goodbye. You need an enterprise-level backup and recovery solution for your AWS workloads. N2WS lets you backup production environments easily. It's simple and scalable and there's no scripting required. Try N2WS free today.